how they be at church. What's up, y'all? <laughs> it's been a very long time, but welcome back. Or maybe y'all should be telling me, welcome back. I know it's been a very long time. Please forgive me. I'm, I'm really trying to get back on track this year. But before I get started, if y'all see me looking away a lot, it's because I'm looking at this because... I'll, I get to rambling a little too much and I'll be on one subject for 10 minutes and this not that kind of video. So um, first I want to start off by saying shout out to my girl Kaylin April. She commented on one of my videos this year and she said that I should post more videos and when I saw that I was like you know what she's right. I really need to put out something this month and I wanted to do that because I didn't want to bust out with some vlogs and all that. And y'all like, well, oh man, we don't get nothing, you know. But maybe y'all probably wouldn't even care because people do it all the time. But anyways, shout out to you, girl. You you really motivated me to get back in front of this camera. But anyways, first things first, this hair, y'all. I did my hair for the first time with a crochet needle. And it was very hard, by the way. My hair is very short still. I, I cut it again because I was going through a lot of stuff. And if y'all been following me previously, or watched some of my previous videos, that spot back there is still, it's getting bigger and it doesn't really want to grow at the same rate as the others, but whatever. We made it do what it do. It took me 10 hours plus, but that's okay. You know, we did it, that's all that matters. But I think I recorded here and there maybe I'll make a separate video if I did um, and show different clips on what I did but anyways yeah basically I'm really focused on trying to keep my hair this year my mental health is very important to me this year because for the last couple of years mainly really most of my life but especially last year it was I had a very very hard year and it was just due to things I really had a lot of control over, in my opinion. I feel like I could have um, put myself in a better situation, but I really just, I didn't. And that's all that was. So this year, I am focused on my mental health, doing things that I really like to do, and just basically staying in my little bubble and focusing on what I need to do so that I can just be a better person overall for myself, not for anybody else at this rate. And obviously I do have a four year, I have a four year old now y'all. <laughs> I don't know if I told y'all how old my baby was at the time in my previous videos, but yes, he is four years old and he will be five this year. And that is the only person little person that i need to worry about because i mean he is only four and he needs me obviously but other than that that's really where we're at with that um oh i did graduate last year how could i have forgot i graduated last year with my bachelor's in accounting and psychology y'all double major oh girl it was hard <laughs> that was a hard those were, both of those degrees were hard in their own way. The accounting degree was hard in numbers. Just, just thinking about the formula and how to apply, I'm not even gonna go into the details, but basically that was hard in itself and the psychology portion was hard mentally. It was hard mentally on me because obviously with psychology, there's no right or wrong answer because everybody's different. But there's that. I, I would say that I'm happy that I completed it, but I'm also, I'm really just happy that I was able to attain that, those two degrees with all that I've been going through. So I really am proud of my resilience. <laughs> Y'all like that word, don't it? I'm proud of my resilience and my grit, cause baby, you know what I'm saying? Life been throwing stuff at me, but guess what? I've been eating it for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, okay? So, you know, 
that's that's how we doing it there um i want to say i also want to say that being an adult is lit i don't know why people are stressed about being an adult i guess because it comes with more responsibilities but me personally i i with the responsibilities i because really as a kid you really can't do too much on your own like by yourself you you know you got people making decisions for you you really don't you have your own mind but not really and you just be um you be in situations that you don't really want to be in but as an adult baby i can pick and choose who i want to be around what i want to do where i want to go where i don't want to go i could just be by myself i could just be by myself so being an adult is lit in my opinion like we we love it here t we we love it here for sure but um there's that on that Staying to myself is key this year. I feel like I haven't had a year where I just focused on myself. And like I said, obviously, I do need to focus on my kid because he is really high up there on that list. You know what I'm saying? He he need me. I brought him here. He ain't asked to be here. So, you know, he does come before me. But I also have to make sure I'm good in order to better his life as well. You know what I'm saying? So... Staying to myself and protecting my mental health is definitely something I'm working on this year. I I discovered a lot about myself um, last year as far as me being a people pleaser, me realizing that I like boundaries, realizing that I, I like to accommodate others and just basically just not knowing how to say no and stuff like that but we here not and i'm i'm no with it <laughs> tiana <you're>, no <laughs> and i don't i'm not here to tolerate anything y'all i have zero patience for anything like literally it, it I, because i know i know that i'm not a i don't bring problems to people you know what i'm saying like i i stay to myself i don't I don't just approach people with issues and all that because I'm good over here. And, you know, I, I'm i not letting people come into my life, you know, trying to start up some stuff or whatever. Like, you know, I, I, I want to stay right where I'm at and I want to have fun with it. You know, I really, this year, I really want to focus on creating some vlogs for y'all. I really don't do nothing. I don't really do anything. I, <laughs> I really just be in here watching the parkers it's on the tv right now i'll be watching the parkers a lot that's my main thing i've been watching for months on end now at this point i've probably been watching the parkers all seasons on netflix since june of last year it's almost like and, and every time it's 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 so funny to me but anyways yeah i really do the same things every day i take my kid to school you know, I do a little work. You know, I do a little work. You know what I'm saying? And I eat, sleep. I do the basic things. You know, I do. I just do enough to take care of myself. But it feel good, though. Like, I'm not doing all that extra stuff. It feel good to just be in a very regular routine of things. And I'm not all over the place trying to figure out what I'm going to do next. Or, or where I'm going to go next. Or who the nothing it's just me it's just me so this is really good for me at this point uh i think that's all i have let me see oh nine minutes oh <laughs> i did not want this video to be any longer than 10 minutes i was like oh girl this is crazy if you got to the end of this video you the goat because i do run my mouth and i do talk kind of fast so if you made it to the end i really appreciate it I love y'all for the support because y'all don't really even have to support me. Like, ain't nobody making y'all, ain't nobody holding a gun to your head like, hey, support, support Tiana, you know what I'm talking about. So, uh, thank you for tuning in and hey, have a, have a good year. This, make this year your best year. Please don't, don't, don't fall off, man. Just don't fall off. Wake up with the mindset, I'm going to do better for myself. And that's just it.